Hey there, folks. I've got an awesome Uber's battle for you today against Florp22. Uh, looking at his team, it's actually eerily similar to mine. He's got a Sun Team, he's got a Reshiram, he's got a Deoxys A. Um, his other Pokemon, so he's got a Trapper, a uh, Magnezone Steel Trapper, so uh, Scissor's gotta watch out. He's got a Zatu, and man, I've gotta say, I've been seeing a lot of um, Espeons especially, and Espeons and Zatus on uh, Pokemon Showdown's Uber ladder as of late. I don't know what's going on, I don't really think it's that effective, uh, but I guess, you know, a lot of people do invest a lot of time in setting up Stealth Drops. Anyway, pretty to lead off with Zatu, or try to shake me trick me into thinking he's gonna lead off with Zatu. I go ahead and lead off with my Arceus uh, Ghost type. I go ahead and go for the Shadow Claw. Now, um, something that playing on Pokemon Shadow has really, really helped me with is kind of improving my Uber's, meta Uber's game. I would have just, before I would have just gone for some Sword Dances and actually tried to take this thing out. Meanwhile, this thing would have set up a bunch of entry hazards. Instead, this time I switched straight out into my Rush Ram. I'm gonna keep him to one layer of hazards as he's going to, um, be scared out, and I do go for the blue flare because I didn't want to over predict. And Draco Meteor really wouldn't have done anything. Now, I'm so pissed at that uh, blue flare missed. I mean, uh, granted, it wouldn't have done that much damage, especially considering the sun wasn't up. I mean, the Red Ram does forge resist it, but, um, you know, even so, so yeah, then his blue flare misses, and that actually mattered um, because Gondwana, especially in the sun, I think that a few specs, I think that would have KO'd. Not 100% positive, maybe I'll throw up a calc. Anyway, uh, he goes out expecting me to set up Stealth Rock. Instead, I uh, do a switch out into Daenerys, um, my uh, Palkia. I go for the Fire Blast, which does more damage in the sun than, um, than whatchamacallit, uh, Spatial Ren, even though the accuracy is a bit lower. I don't manage to get the KO, so I, I guess I would have been better off going for Spatial Ren. But you know, just in case he switched out into one of his Steel types, uh, would have, it was a good move. Anyway, I decided I'm going to switch out into Arceus here. Um, the poison is going to be annoying, but at least it's only one layer. Well, actually, I think I would prefer both layers at this point. Um, Reshiram's going to come right back out. Uh, I am poisoned. Um, he's got actually going to do a double switch here. Uh, I would outspeed, assuming he's not scarfed. I go for the Shadow Claw. Uh, again, we're in the same situation with this, um, with this Fortress out. I'm going to do the exact same move. I'm going to go out into my own Reshiram. Now, this is like the second time this has happened, uh, and so far this battle has been going really well. No KOs on either side, a um, bunch of excellent plays. Here he goes for a round of spikes, staying in, expecting me to over-predict, and here's the thing, I'm gonna go for the blue flare. Now you, now you might think, oh well, if he only had a little bit more health, it would've been a safe move for him because he'd have sturdy. The, the interesting thing that I learned actually fairly recently is that Turbo Blaze bypasses sturdy. Uh, the same way it bypasses, uh, bypasses, uh, whatchamacallit, Flash Fire on Heatran. So, uh, it's an amazing ability and makes Reshiram a really good counter for, uh, Fortress. So anyway, yeah, uh, obviously going, going to need to switch out here. No choice in the matter. Um, his Reshiram's gonna go for the Blue Flare, gonna hit my, uh, my Groudon here, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna KO. And indeed it does. So Gondwana is down for the count, and that miss earlier really did matter. I'm gonna send out Daenerys, um, because fire cannot kill a dragon, although at that range of health it might actually have been able to. I'm just gonna go for the Spatial Rend, I am Scarfed, I would have outsped, um, and maybe even ko I'm not 100% positive, but I am going to manage to take out his Zatu, so that's nice. Uh, I mean, he sent out his Zatu as Death Botter, but it's still nice to have it dead. Uh, he goes ahead and sends out his, uh, Deoxys A here. Uh, my health is too low to really want to take too much more from Hazard, so I'm just going to let Daenerys die uh, to an extreme speed, uh, and he did need to go over extreme speed, assuming he's not scarred. And now I switch into Rico. Now here, he had a choice. He could have either switched out, um, he could have gone for extreme speed, or he could have stayed in and done whatever he did. I, he was predicting me, I guess, to Swords Dance, expecting to switch, and I managed to KO with a... Um, bullet punch here. This was really weird. I expected him to outspeed, but it turns out he's not running any speed EVs in his Magnezone, so I'm able to take it out with a superpower. Yeah, always run 44 speed EVs on your Magnezones in the Uber tier so that it outspeeds min speed scissor, which is what my scissor is. So he goes ahead and sets up rocks uh, with his ground, and I wish I had switched out, but I figured, you know, leave this thing in for Death Potter. Based on the Pokemon he has left, uh, it's not going to be useful. Um, so here I'm going to I'm going to stay in and just let myself get killed. Uh, I am going to die, so that's okay. Bye-bye, Rico. You did a great job. I am very, very proud of you. Now I'm going to go out into Deoxys. Uh, now that he's had some prior damage, I think Ice Beam is a guaranteed kill. 
and I don't have to go for the Psycho Boost, so I am just going to go for the Straight Up Ice Beam, and this is good game. I mean, I'm going to take out his Groudon, then he's got one more Pokemon left with his Reshiram. Uh, I don't think it's Scarfed, so that means that I should be able to KO it, I'm going to outspeed, and I should be able to KO it with a Psycho Boost. So, out goes Reshiram, uh, even though it's at full health, I'm pretty sure I can KO it with a Psycho Boost, but it misses! And I'm like, oh god, now it's good game me, because... I do the calcs and see that my Arceus can't win, so my only hope here is to win the speed tie and KO with a Draco Meteor that has to not miss. So I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, please don't miss, please, and I do win the speed tie. Turns out it wasn't a speed tie, he runs modest and not timid. Uh, mistake, he gotta run timid on Reshiram. And so I managed to take out his Reshiram and win the game, but oh my god, if that had missed, that would have been so awful. So great game, Flarp 22, uh, there was a great amount of tension at the end there. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this Uber's battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.